Well, first of all, it stands uh, for the uh, flag raising at Iwo Jima. Iwo Jima is one of the fiercest battles that, that our glorious Corps ever went, underwent. And the successes is against the numbers. As Admiral Nimitz said, it's going to be a Marine Corps forever and ever, you know. And, and because of the, the blood spilt there, the heroism displayed there, uh, of course, uh, Joe Rosenthal took that picture and not posed. And uh, because Marines were doing the right thing, that's putting up a flag in the middle of battle to show them, show the enemy of, of our moxie and our and our esprit de corps, and uh, and it turned the battle. I think I think it really did because it gave uh, the Marines and the and the Navy, the corpsmen with us, uh, the uh, the uh, spirit to to go onward. So uh, the Weldon up in, uh, in Rhode Island uh, crafted it, and it was put here. Of course, what a what a beautiful spot overlooking our nation's capital. And for Marines, this is hallowed ground because it stands uh, for who we are. And every recruit uh, since World War II and every officer going through training, our drill instructors talk about Iwo Jima. Uh, I have visited Iwo Jima, and it's, it's awesome. It's awesome. And uh, so, um, as I said, uh, I think this uh, monument stands for who we are as Marines, what we have accomplished in the past. And, and what we're prepared to do in the future. So, as I said, we look on this as hallowed grounds, and any time a Marine can come here, he does it with reverence. When I look at it, I think of the bravery, the number, the number of, of people. We had companies that ended up on the first day with, with less than 10 people in some cases. It was, an, it was an unbelievable, unbelievable loss of life for us. But in the end, it was one of the greatest symbols of the future of America ever seen by anybody in this country because once it was publicized it gave people hope.